Hey guys, Bobby back, and today again we are here with the Soviet Union doing a lot of interesting things. So we've obviously taken Finland, we've taken a bits of Turkey, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Mongolia, and the Xinjiang clique are obviously part of us, but we do have communist China still. So Kingdom of Tibet, they are kind of just chilling, fighting them still, I guess. Okay. So, real talk, we need to end this fight over here. So, 62 units, get over there, take him out. And, I don't, honestly, thing is, I don't, I need to leave a couple of these guys. Honestly, the rest, you need to come up here. Because Bulgaria, Bulgaria is coming up on Romania. That's crazy. I don't really care for that. What's Bulgaria's army look like? Ooh. They got about 60 infantry divisions. That's, that's what they got going for them. Okay. We could probably take that on. Is Germany at war with Poland? They are. So I think the war is kind of started so oop, they already took a couple areas over there okay socialist russia see i don't like that there's all these things happening i don't like that we don't need that at all no no Did they, like, revolt? Is that what happened? Okay. So you're going to go there, go there. Yeah. It's fine. We'll just take over the whole country. It's fine. And then where is Severia? Oh, over here. I don't care for that at all. Let's move some troops in there. This army's still just kind of chilling. Is this one making tanks? Okay, that's why. Big sad Poland. Um, how's Japan doing? I've kind of removed all my troops from China. I feel like they, besides this one down here, I feel like they can kind of handle it on their own now. Which, you know, maybe that's for the best. I really hope they got in there. They did. Okay. Thank God. I would have been pissed if we lost that many Chinese troops. Not that, like... They have, no, that would actually have been a substantial amount of their army. I mean, they have a lot of militia up here, but that's a lot of their infantry divisions. Cool, so we won that battle. Wearing these guys down, hopefully here soon. Okay. We'll get over there. Okay. I'm going to take these six guys. I'm going to send them over here. Because if you didn't realize, the Germans, they're coming for us. Ah, oh, look at Poland. They took Memel. That's funny. Memel. Memel. However you want to call it. Ooh. Japan. Socialist Russia. Socialist Tajikistan. Forgot that that was a thing. Crap. Uh, yeah, move in there. Can go there. See, I don't know why Socialist Uzbekistan is a thing. What the hell? You can go there. You can go there. It's eight. Oh my goodness. You can go there. Honestly, sometimes it's just like, where am I supposed to move troops to, man? Like, at a certain point, you have to keep somebody in every single freaking spot. Ooh, they're about to finally take them out. Kyangzi. They're still attacking us up in Korea, which is kind of annoying. I don't care for that. We don't need that in our life. But don't worry, guys. We... Oh, there goes World War Two. 
Uh, Sarge, I think World War II just started. From a fantastic... Oh my god, why am I losing so many troops, man? That is insane. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, I need more troops in there ASAP. You know, like it sucks that we had to lose that island, North Sakelin, but I can live with it. You know, I can live. It's not the end of the world. Now for them it probably is, but you know. Baby steps, man. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm in charge of the entire country or anything. But, you know, we do what we do. But, we will make sure they don't take those regions. Alright, let's send more troops in there. Hopefully we'll take them out eventually. But, you know, these 43 divisions seem to be pretty stubborn. Our advanced physics is going well. Australia joins the war. All right. Okay. I got a bunch of training camps and barracks being built right now. Ooh, we finally took that. We took that. We're pushing them out finally. Shanghai is going to be a tough one, but they got another 43 units there. So that's 86. Honestly, those are honestly a lot of their divisions tied up here. It's crazy. There's not really much defending the mainland. It's just their navy. But, you know, there's only so much you can do. Let's move these guys over there. We got to crush them, man. Is it the air power? Is that what I'm missing? Lost tinges. Tinges? No way. No. No, we're going to take... Okay, I was going to say, we better take them out. It's also part of Socialist Russia. Not anymore. Um, we're clearing this up a little bit. Just split that in half. Who are these guys? Belarusian Socialist Rebels. What do you not like that we're doing? I guess they don't care for it. That's up to them, I guess. Where's our best air power? Okay, so we'll get that over there. Maybe get that over here. And then Ufa. And then if I got some artillery, I'm going to send it over there. I need as much artillery as possible. And you're probably thinking, you really should have planned this out ahead of time. And you're right. I should have, but what else do you want me to do, man? Hopefully we can take out some of these troops with these uh, planes and artillery shells I'm going to bring, be bringing in here. But, you know... We really just got to build up our, our army again. We really don't have a huge amount of troops due to the attrition we've taken this war. Um, comparatively, compared to what the Germans are going to be sending after us. Um, we still have more than them technically right now, but we're also still fighting the Japanese. South Africa joins the war. Okay. So we're going to bombard those guys. You're going to get involved there. We doing down here 36 and 7. Oh man, this entire country is on fire, but what are you gonna do? You can go there, you can go there. Get some mountain infantry in there. You're good. You need to go to the southern Urals for an experiment or something. I don't know, man. How powerful is China now? 
was gonna say they're pretty powerful they're like top eight good for them yeah because i'm no I'm no longer at war with the republic of china it's just that's really funny good for them okay looks like more planes are there more artillery is on the way still so that'll be good and then we're getting closer with advanced physics we'll be able to continue no socialist russia you garbage we're not doing that we're gonna take out every single last one of you guys where's the last it's right here Okay. Oh, that got taken. Okay. okay we're gonna bomb some more. Maybe that'll do something. They'll take more of my guys out. Apparently, that's fine. It's not really what I was going for. Kirsten, really, you're a little, a little too close for comfort over there. I'm literally gonna have to line out troops everywhere, aren't I? What? I like how they also have, like, the Soviet flag thing. That's Soviet flag, not flag thing. You know what I mean? That's really funny. Let's get that over there. And go there. All right. Come on. There's only so, so many bombs you can take, right? as a military before it's like what are we doing all right we took over iraq it looks like um okay. keep going chemical reactors so we did take iraq so that's cool just gonna Can do that. No, I'm actually I'm just gonna leave it for now. That's fine. I don't need to worry about that right now. We got we're gonna war to fight. We're taking on the Japanese over here. We're gonna probably win the Battle of Fukian pretty soon, and then we can close in on um Qinghai from the Soviet Republic. See, like some of that's not really like I get why that's my issue, but that's not really my issue. Like it is, but it's not at the same time. This is one of the more interesting playthroughs I've done because it's a little bit different than what I would normally do. I normally wouldn't try to deviate too far from the normal path as the Soviet Union. At least in terms of like, you know, waiting when to attack, doing this, doing that. But look, we're slowly whittling them down. Two more, two more troops fell off, so... <clears throat> We're making progress. We're making progress. It's going to be a nightmare. Um, eventually, what I'm going to have to do once we finish up this war, probably. Honestly, once we kick them off the continent, I'm... Man. My thing is, it's like, I just don't have a navy. But I'm currently... Ooh, I can build fast battleships. Yeah, okay. That's the thing. Like, I do need... And, like, we could definitely build more uh, dockyards. Problem is, we just have to make sure... Um, what's our railroad situation? Plus 11. That's not bad, actually. All right. So, we're going to do medium distance. Because this is our only port over here, which is kind of crazy. That's why we don't have much of an Asian... Um, Uh, presence for us which is quite sad um, just gonna make sure we build up these so we can have warm water a warm water port that's how you know you're a, <laughs> a Russian spy that's uh, that's what Texas is known for Houston it's a warm water port can't remember where I saw that from but 
Yeah, that's fine. I can deal with 30 less. It's fine. Ooh, two more gone. Two more gone. See? In about 20 turns, they may be fully done. So, you know, by December. Or probably January, February. Zero. No. Turkey. Turkey, you realize you, you, you can't do that. You, you can't do that, man. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson? I know, people aren't going to like that I declared war on Turkey. And by people, I mean Turkey. Turkey's not going to like that. I hope the Allies don't give a shit. They probably won't give a shit. They're too busy fighting Germany. Um, five and two. Yeah, move by road. Get in there. Fight those guys. Who is Romania allied with still? Greece and Yugoslavia. Quite the alliance. Okay. So, moving those guys up here. Alright, Turkey's probably a little bit more prescient, so I'll watch it while I observe. Ooh, seven! Seven divisions gone in the Battle of Kangwon. There we go. That's how you make it work. You know, I might as well just take Turkey, man. This is, like, ridiculous. Sure. Yeah, do that. No. What are what what do they think they're doing? Say we're not doing that. Okay. Erzurum's gonna be settled too. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, there's another battle there. See, I have a lot of secessions happening, but it's like, it's all the, it's just all the areas that aren't really super relevant for the industry. Oh, man. It's crazy. What is happening? So you're going to go over there, you're going to go over there. Um, you're going to go there. gonna go there and you're gonna go there and you're gonna go there and there okay let's make sure we can see that oh 22 divisions holy crap that is wild the japanese military is like not doing great if i had enough time to build up a navy like or if i had maybe spent time building a navy properly um and who knows, maybe I have enough to take them on. I'll have to look, but 13 left. Okay, which is really cool, which is really good here, too, because I have enough units that I could probably go and confront Shanghai after this because um, they don't really have much left. Um, that's right. I wasn't bothering this. Yeah, I'm going to make them and make them do what I want them to do. Which is give me all your territory, pretty much. Like, just, just, just give it to me, man. What do you need it for? There's no point in you having it. So I feel about Turkey right now, man. Like, what are, we, what are you going to do with all this shit? Ain't shit. Uh, 10, you know, yeah, we'll do that. The real thing is Bulgaria, man. Bulgaria is a crazy-ass country right now. Look at all the shit they have. It's too much. Hey, Germany, we did sign an agreement, didn't we? I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember if I got that event or not. It's been a little bit since, since I hopped on here. But um, 13, okay. Three! Bang! Let's go! King Juan is... 
It's King One. That's for sure. Okay. So, Korea. All right, so Estonia agrees. Turkey, no. No, it's not happening. Four, one. Okay. So, all the tiny vehicles. Okay. So, I got that one. All right. You can go there. And these three I need to send over here. Because, honestly, we need to take this on. That's the only way we're going to be able to do anything. So, let's send over that. And then we will rebase to Honan. Rebase to Honan. Rebase to Honan. Okay. So we're doing good over there. How's Turkey going? Turkey will soon be all of ours. Um, Istanbul. Bulgaria is probably not going to like that. I don't give a crap, man. All right. Estonia. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to send the tanks in. Send in the tanks in. Okay. <clears throat> so, cool thing to do now. I'm going to make them a protector for right now until I finally finalize the war because, you know. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. We'll do that. Is it even worth? It's really not worth it. Honestly, if it's not if it's not worth like taxing them really, I, I'll just you know, <laughs> I'll just literally make sure that it's you know looking good, and that's about it. Um, Democratic People's Republic. Yeah, the main thing here is, man, I'm gonna need you to build up a lot of forces. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need the hell out of that medical center. Would be nice. Not gonna worry about that. Um, yeah, fighters too. Build an air base for you. Hey, do some light bombers. Okay. I definitely got some work to do in cleaning that area up. Um, I'm very glad we beat Korea though. That's a that's a big hurdle to overcome. China's looking a lot better, honestly. Um, okay. It's probably about time to do this, honestly. China, you are going to get all of this. There we go. That's how it should be. That looks a lot better. And then, honestly, the only areas that they don't have is this, 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 this. We're about to work on that. Obviously, Korea's, Korea's its own country, but once we clean up the war a bit, once we can retake... Jeju Island. Side of some terrible massacres by the South Korean government. Awful shit. But, yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. Turkey is still on the up and up, but, yeah. And we've got the tanks going over to Estonia. Okay. We'll let another turn go by. But, yeah. I think the big key going forward is obviously clean up all of this like activity in the background, all these like resistance forces popping up. Um, we need to secure Turkey. Of course we got to secure Tom. Apparently we got to secure Turkey. We got to secure the Baltic States. Um, obviously Germany's a big threat on the looming uprising horizon. Um, Japan is definitely going to be one of the ones where 
We have a lot of work to do. I'm going to wait till they're actually in battle so there is actually like something they're doing. Um, actually, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. We're doing that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if this guy joined my battle. But Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more. Definitely going to keep doing this. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and uh, bye.